What's up guys? Got another video for you today. So just a small one that I'm going to be talking about a couple things. Uh, so the first one being the eco reset. Let's sort of get into that. So these were the final results. Um, and this poll still exists. I'm trying to find like the best way to move this around. I, I suppose I suppose because of where I have my screen there's no good way. Uh, rip. Okay. Okay, what about right there? We'll just lower a little bit. We'll just, just, just lower. Just, just lower a little bit. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, these are the results. Um, so the top two votes are yes, but if you look at the total comparative votes or, or this little pie chart, it's pretty split. So if I'm not mistaken, the um, results in favor were 52 in favor and then I think 16 against. Um, and if you're wondering, I split the I don't care votes 4-4 four, four, just for either option to see what happens. So it was mostly split and more leaning towards no. So we decided not to do anything. We, we, this was really just a, a poll to gauge opinions anyways. Our plan was to not do anything in the first place. I never was going to, to do an eco reset unless it was like 95% yes because that would obviously prove my opinion wasn't, wasn't the right one or the, or the one that the majority liked. So... Uh, for now, we're going to be sticking with that as is. I, I believe a lot of the problems with the eco can be easily fixed, just given time and, and given the proper updates. So I'm not too bothered by that. But uh, So yeah, I know a lot of people have been like tuning in on my stream. I've been streaming a lot lately. I don't know if you guys see that. I stream on YouTube, so I don't really know how that works in terms of notifications. I know everybody's... I, I have never used the bell to subscribe to anybody because I don't like notifications. And I've never liked a YouTuber enough to, to want to have notifications from them. So I have no, I have no like, I, I, you know what I mean? It doesn't offend me that, that no one um, turns the bell on or subscribes or anything like that. I don't care. Do you? But I'm not sure exactly how. I just, like, I just don't know how YouTube streaming, um, how, that, how that's handled in, in, in YouTube. So I have no clue. But I am streaming a lot more. I, I normally stream, like, like, what would be, like, 8 p.m. server time. Um, and I, I'll, I'll normally like tell people when I'm going to before I do it, like like hours in advance. So, um, yeah, if you want to come check out, most of the time we do coding streams, but we have been working on the uh, from scratch. I'm about to gear up and go kill something right now. Probably evil chickens. That's my Slayer task, right? Yeah, let's go kill some chickens. So, yeah, I've been working on the series, and I'm also collecting clips too, so that that'll help videos. But um, yeah. If you wanted to see all the streams, go soon. So on my last stream I did last night, um, towards the end of it, we were I was talking about doing a possible city expansion on the pretty much the entire of Mauritania. I, I don't know exactly what I would do in each regard, but I, my my goal would be to to, to my like because it's part of my city expansion. So my this would be the next one I would want to do. And I'm not going to do it for a while. Um, I, I want to sort of leave a couple months in between each city expansion I do. Um, mostly because, like, because, like, right now, if I did it, it would just, it would devalue everything we just did in Zenaris. You know what I mean? So, I think giving it a little bit of time, and, um, I think that's the best way to go. Uh, so, when we were looking at it, I actually noticed this extra little bit on the map. And this is all, this is from Theater of Blood. I have no clue what this is from. Um, so I ended up just teleporting here because I was just curious. And it turned out that it, there, there actually is the Theater of Blood. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe there's items. And I spawned the items, and they actually work. So what ended up happening was not too long ago, I had an issue. I think it was it was my computer. It was, I can't remember if it was, it was my computer. Yeah. I had an issue where I, I my Java, like, auto-downloaded it, or I downloaded it. I'm not sure what I did. I, I fucked up my Java, basically. And the only and we tried to fix it for, like, three hours. And the only way we could really end up fixing it was just using a backup of the client that Dark had. Um, so currently, we're using Dark's backup client. And the thing with it is, uh, he updated to the Theater of Blood data, and I never knew that. And I don't, I don't know if he told me and I forgot, or he told me and I didn't see it. I have no clue. But uh, it turns out we do have the Theater of Blood data going. Um, I guess we'd call that 170. So we have uh, here. Yeah, we have essentially everything from Dragon Slayer 2 to. Uh, to um to to, to theater of blood, so all of the the scythe, the uh, the Justigar play, you know the leg guards, the Avernic defender, all of that fun stuff, even including some of the um, not theater of blood stuff like, uh, for example, uh, uh, I could have sworn it was oh okay like you know the shields and whatnot. 
the leather shields, and then the um, the staff of light. We don't have that. The necklace of anguish ornament kit that we don't have that either. So there's a couple items that are um, not like amazing, but they definitely would be cool to have. So. Um, obviously, the Theater of the Blood is the main one everybody wants, and that's what everybody cares about. So, yeah, we actually have the Theater of Blood stuff, and we can probably get that out sooner rather than later. We don't have all of the newest data, so we don't have stuff like the crossbow and all those other wilderness stuff. We don't have that yet, but we do have the Theater of Blood. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking this is probably going to be the next big project. We'll probably do the Theater of Blood. Um, I don't know when you're going to expect to see this. Let me. I guess it really depends on what you guys want to see. Like, if this is, like, a huge thing that everybody's been waiting for for a while, I, I'd be more willing to get it out sooner rather than later. But if everyone is just kind of like, oh yeah, it's cool, but they can wait, you know, let me know how you feel about that. There will be a survey soon. I'm not going to have that out for this video. I, I, I still got to come up with more questions and more things I want to, I, I need additional information on. So uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, yeah, let me know what you guys think. We actually have the Feet of Blood stuff. So I think, um, I think it could be cool to start working on. And exactly, like, tell me, tell me what you like want with Theater of Blood. Do you want something as as close to the actual Theater of Blood from old school? Do you want it like? Do you want us to try to do it exactly? Or not? I, it's not going to be exact. That's just that's just a guarantee. That's a given. I'm not good enough of a developer to create Theater of Blood, but I could try my best and try to make my try to make it as close as possible. Or should I do something similar to what I did with the old raids, where every boss was just an individual boss that had different loots split up? So there would be, I think there's, is there five or six bosses that came out with this? I'm not sure, but let me know what you want to do. I don't, I don't really have a, a dog in that race. I, I feel like um, having some form of actual raids could be cool. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if I can do it, but I suppose looking into it would never, wouldn't, wouldn't be bad. That could be even something I stream. I just stream looking into it and trying to figure out what we could possibly do. But either way, give me your opinions. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you soon.